Hello guys, I wanted to talk about the Yoshino in World of Warships. I got her yesterday from winning a 100k cold beat. And I must say that she's worth the call. Definitely worth the call. Uh, she's the most survivable ship in World of Warships in my opinion and no one is telling you this but I'm telling you now that she's the most survivable ship in World of Warships for a couple of reasons the first is that with upgrades and high skill captain points uh, you can get concealment to 13 kilometer range and this is pretty good considering that she is a very large cruiser right not only that she is also fast and also with upgrades you can get her rudder shift time to 6.7 seconds and this is equivalent to or, or almost equivalent to a rather safe time of destroyers in the game uh, then the Yoshino has one of the longest reaching guns in the game at 21 kilometer range uh, without any upgrade and you can upgrade this range to 25 kilometer right on top of those things the Yoshino has very accurate guns that you can also enhance with upgrade so you get a really good snapping cruiser which is armor decently enough uh, to protect you while you are weaving and dashing at, uh, at a distance behind your friendly battleships so as a result most people wouldn't even attempt to fire on you because you are a cruiser you are moving fast and you are weaving with that rider shift time of 6.7 seconds right and even if some are are hurt enough to shoot at you right uh, they won't hit anything they won't even hit you perhaps one or two hits uh, uh, will find uh, perhaps you will get hit by one of two rounds but if you are angle because you are weaving and dancing at a high speed your armor will protect you well enough that you get basically just a scratch of damage right as a result often or very often I end up being the last few remaining ships in every with the Yoshino right and to me the Yoshino is actually overpowered and I believe for gaming will soon realize this and will take her down from the call shop because she is just too good uh, in what of warships unless they nerf the ship in the future and that would piss a lot of people right so she's very much worth getting and she's the most survivable ship in what of warship the upside of having a tier 10 premium ship in what of warships is that uh, you get better teammates because 
tier 10 players are much more experienced right so you rarely see a lopsided match right i've never seen a lopsided match in tier 10 uh in the past in the, in the past couple days and however uh the yoshino doesn't earn you as much credit as a tier 8 or tier 9 premium ships would uh, earn you credits so bear this in mind you're buying uh, for that access to tier 8 matches at affordable cost because you're not going to lose money with a tier 10 premium ship in World of War ships although uh, you'll be making around 30k of credits only if you do poorly right and with the Yoshino you will almost always survive until the very end of the match almost always right unless you do something stupid or you get some basically by your own mistake right throwing your broadside to any battleship is one example so i highly recommend your scene i almost forgot that your sino comes with a choice of either 12 or 20 kilometer range torpedoes she has uh, 16 of those torpedoes and with a captain skill a one point captain skill you can enhance the speed enhance the speed of these torpedoes uh, for example the 20 kilometer range torpedoes uh, they have a speed of 62 knots 62 right and with a captain point skill you can enhance this to 65 knots and because they have a range of 20 km range which is actually a trolling range uh, even a 3 knot upgrade of speed makes a huge difference right uh, while you may not be hitting many ships with your torpedoes because uh, you are likely to fire your torpedoes at very long ranges in excess of 15 kilometer range uh, you will still hit some ships and they deal quite a massive damage it's one of them and you have 16 torpedoes at for this side so the Yoshino is really that perfect blend of Japanese uh, cruiser and destroyer again to me the Yoshino is power and your game may end up taking her down from the shop so I suggest get the ship before we're gaming takes her down from the shop right okay that's all i wanted to share with you thank you for watching
enemy battleship destroyed. in five minutes. The enemy is about to win. 